Alex, you've had some pretty good luck with injuries this season, but Tuesday was a bruising battle, wasn't it? Let's get an update on Alex Tetty first of all. What's the injury? Yeah, um, Alex's ankle's not in good shape. Um, so unfortunately, he's going to need an operation and he's going to probably miss the remainder of the season. Obviously, that's a big blow for you and a big blow for Alex as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's an all-hearted player, Alex, and, and unfortunately, he went in for a challenge and the lads landed on him. He's done the same injury in his other ankle, which got operated on. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a big blow for him and, and for the team. Gary O'Neill and Robbie Brady, they seem to have more cosmetic issues. I mean, are they going to be OK for Saturday? Yeah, they'll be fine. Gary's got a gash in his head, so that'll probably need wrapped up. Um, and Robbie's teeth, to be honest, were in a bit of a mess. So, um, he's paid to be sort of visit to the dentist and, and sort of got them fixed as much as he can at the moment. Um, but I don't think that should, that should sort of stop him from being involved. Tim Closer and Johnny Housen also took knocks in that game. How are they? Yeah, they're OK. Um, Tim just sort of rolled his ankle a little bit, but um, it wasn't too bad, and, and Johnny, Johnny's fine. Seb Song didn't make that one. Is he, is he going to be available for Saturday? Uh, he, he'll be another, another late call, um, so we'll just have to wait and see how he goes between sort of now and game time tomorrow. And the final one is Andre Wisdom. What, what was the issue with Andre? He's been missing for quite a while now, hasn't he? Yeah, he just jarred his knee, so um, it's, a, it's an injury which <coughs> sort of reoccurred for Andre. He's had it in the past. Um, and yeah, he's just, he's, to be fair, he's, he's nearly finished his rehab, so it'll just be a case of him joining in training as of next week. Patrick Bamford becomes av available for you again. Obviously, goals win games, and that's going to be vital in this run. And do you see him playing a, a big part for you now? Yeah, well, uh, Patrick, obviously, he did great last year in, in the sort of Middlesbrough team, but I think if you look at what Cameron's off on the team so far, I mean, I think the performances, um, although he's missed maybe a couple of chances, I think what he gives the team. Um, we create a lot of chances with him in the team, his work ethic's good um, and really you're just wanting his opportunities that he does have, if we can sort of stick them away then um, it's more of a sort of all round and complete performance so um, yeah it's, it's a tough one because if you change Cameron you lose, you lose some of the, the good assets that he brings to the team so we've got to sort of um, weigh it all up really. Last time we played Swansea, we were going into the game on a, on a bit of a poor run of form. We won that game to end that form. I guess you're looking for exactly the same this time. Yeah, um, the one thing I'll say, I, I, in terms of form, winning games, obviously we're not, we're not in good form just at, at the moment, but I think performance-wise it's certainly been promising. Um, we've made sort of little alterations to the team, not, not sort of huge tinkering because of um, the fact that they're playing well. So, yeah, we're, we're hoping that we can go there and put in another good performance, but this time get the result to back it up. Yeah, do you think it's important for the players' mentality to get that result? Because they have been playing well, but they, need, they do need a result to sort of enforce that, don't they? Yeah, I, th I think for them. I think because they're, they're putting Everton have got into the games. Um, certainly the last two games that we've played, I think Everton have sort of worked on and the, the amount of effort that they've put in and, like you say, sort of bruised and battered. Um, I think what they need to start a little, a little bit of sort of um, fortune, if you like, just to get across the line and, and pick up some points and build that confidence and belief going into the, the remaining games. People will be expecting this to be a tense affair with what's at stake. How keen are you for your team to go and take the initiative? I mean, I mean they struggled to do that away from home recently, but I guess that's important for you. Yeah, but our last performance was Leicester away. You know, we performed really well. Probably got on the, the wrong end of a, a sort of bad result, but performance-wise, we certainly merited more than what we got. And if we can put that type of performance in, then we're hoping this time we can be a bit more sort of fortunate. Swansea got their highest Premier League finish last season. They've struggled this year. Obviously, they got a good win midweek. But why do you think they haven't done so well this year? I think it's difficult. You know, I think obviously they've lost Bonnie as well, which has been a huge blow to them. Um, I think when you take sort of 15, 20 goals out of your team, it's always going to have a real sort of um, damaging effect. So um, yeah, and I think what happens is the expectation then rises because they've done so well last year, um, and I think they maybe struggled to sort of cope with that. I want to talk to you about the Norwich fans, Alex. They took over 3,000 to Leicester. This is Swansea is one of the longest trips of the season and the, and the away end is going to be sold out again. Incredible sport, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, particularly away fans have been absolutely magnificent since I've been here. They're always in fine voice, regardless where we go. Um, and it's tough sort of, when you see how much they, they travel and how much they support the team and we've not given them a lot to shout about recently. So I'm really hoping that changes, particularly for them.